Good afternoon, my name is Elaine Ross and I'm the Aquila brand manager for Marine Max. Welcome to our Aquila hub in St. Pete, Florida. I'm going to take you on a nice walkthrough of our all new Aquila 32 Sport. What you're going to notice, first of all, when you look at the 32 Sport, we've got a nice hard top, half height windshields, opening gate into your bow cockpit area. We've got a nice anchor system, no bridle needed on the 32 because of her size. So very simple to operate, just like as you would a monohull. As you follow me back towards the aft of the boat, you're gonna see very similar stylings to our larger boats, the 36, 44, 54, and our 70. So all of our boats mimic the windows in the hull. Again, you're gonna see very sturdy stainless steel throughout. So very thick on your hand, nice solid hard top, from the water line to the top of the hard top, you're at nine foot, six inches. Draft of the boat is just under two foot. You're at one foot, 10 inches. Beam on, beam on her is 12 foot, eight inches. So just under 13 foot. Very simple, normal dock size is required. You don't need any uh, supersized beamy docks. So it makes uh, going out for your day trips uh, to restaurants and to other locations very simple. Um, just pull up just as you would in any other boat. On the aft of this boat, the owner of this boat is optioned up with the dual 300 Mercury horsepower engines. Standard comes with the boat is 200 and dual 225 horsepower engines, black. So when you option up to the 300s, you get the white versions, which are um, more of your premium, your upgrade to the Mercury line. You also notice on the aft of the boat, we've got a fixed swim platform. We've got a full size swim ladder, which actually extends down about eight, eight inches below your uh, draft of the boat. So when you back up to a sandbar, an island or a beach, it's easy, easy access in and out of the water for little ones all the way up to older adults. You've got nice big bolster handhelds on your ladder as you climb up, nice teak steps. Um, so it's not your small little step ladder that you would use on a regular size boat that most people are familiar with. We actually stick with a very similar ladder to our 36, our 44, and 54, and 70, and so on. So really an attribute that Aquila focuses on is the ease of access in and out of, your, out of the water. One of the nice new designs that we're really featuring on the Aquila is this, um, is the black outline of the boat. And when you kind of step back and look at the boat, the white with the black, everything ties together very nice and neat. And that's uh, kind of an Aquila trademark. Um, so you'll see that on every, every model of the Aquila line. So step on board with me and I'll give you a quick rundown of all the, all the nice features on board the boat. You've got a nice entry onto the boat. So a very small step, um, not a big step. It's just very simple. You can use this as a handheld or you can just step straight on. The other thing to notice, and I'll do it again, this is a catamaran. So one of the key features of, a, of a, an Aquila catamaran is the stability. So when you step on, I'm about your average size guy. I'm 5'9", about 190 pounds, 185, 190, 185 on a good day. Um, but what you'll see when I step on board, she barely rocks. And if you do that on a monohull, you're gonna get quite a bit of rocking. So if you're looking for stability in a boat, catamaran's the way to go. So as you step on, you'll see there's a nice walkway and easy entrance into the aft cockpit area. These are removable so you can or repositionable so you can either move have them fixed in this position or you simply pick up slide into this position and then that way you can close off your aft cockpit same with your aft gate back here. You can close this if you have little kids or adults that are not behaving you can simply close it off and keep them all inboard. But for the purpose of this video, we'll leave open as I give you the walkthrough. What you also notice on your starboard side, you've got a shower, easy accessible, so you can stand on the back here or anywhere you want in the cockpit, and you can take fresh water shower after you go for a dip in the dip in the salt water. So as you follow me further in to the boat, one of the great features on the Aquila is you're going to see the expansive cockpit area, very open. You can have easy conversation, lots of social zones from the bow all the way to the aft of the boat. You've got a uh, cockpit table that you can either have extended open or you're able to flip open and create a bit more space if needed. As we work our way around, 
on the starboard side in here we've got a nice cooler that drains so there's a plug so you can simply fill it up with ice and keep it in there in the gunnel we've actually got life jackets and this is huge it's, it's very very deep so it goes all the way back and all the way forward so nice little cup holders built in little kilo logo gives you a little bit of attention to the detail Again, with your stainless steel, this is super, super sturdy. So you can see how thick these are. Um, through bolted in, very strong and sturdy. On your port aft side, we've got a 30 amp shore power cord, single. So when you have air conditioning optioned on this boat, you can run your air conditioner through the shore power. Or if you option up to the five kilowatt generator, you can run your air conditioning when you're away from the dock and you're anchored at an island or a sandbar and you're staying on board for the evening. Again, this turns into a sun lounger and I'll open that up in just a little bit and we'll continue working our way towards the bow. On our starboard side in the aft, what you're gonna notice, I'm gonna open up your access to your bilge area. One thing you're gonna see right away is the size. Um, she's in massive back here, so easy to get down. On our starboard side, we've got our generator. On our port side, we're gonna have our water tank, wastewater. Um, and so you'll see, I'm just gonna open up our starboard side for now and just show you how easy it is to pick it up. She opens up just like a wing, wing door. She's on struts. And underneath here, you're gonna see your generator. Again, it's a five kilowatt generator. And then you've got your access to your bilge areas and you'll see all your wiring and your plumbing is all very neat and tucked away. Nice labeled, um, so very easy for your mechanics to jump down in there and work on any bits and pieces that they may need to over time and just preventative maintenance of your boat. As you'll see in the hardtop, this boat, the owner has equipped this boat with a sure shade system and we'll get some additional footage of that. But this is your sure shade. It extends out for additional shade covering over your aft cockpit, which is a really nice feature on those hot summer days and you're looking for some shade. So a really great, nice area. As you'll see, if I'm sitting down and there were other people on board the boat, there's enough room from the bow to the stern to accommodate 22 people. So the boat, which is very important when you're looking at a boat, is your CE certification. So this boat is qualified for B, C, and D CE certification at 12, 16, and 22 persons. So meaning your max capacity on, on board, the Aquila 32, is 22 people. So just think about that. That's a lot of people on board, and there's plenty of space for everyone. Typically. If you have your entire family on board, friends, you're going to be about 14 or 15 people. Everyone's going to have a place to sit. You're not all going to be sitting on the gunnels trying to find a seat for each other. Um, you've got plenty of room here to lounge out. The seat in the, on the port side and the aft cockpit is approximately four feet wide. And on your starboard side is approximately three feet wide. So you've got room for two adults, room for three adults. And then up here, you can just kind of follow that same concept all the way working through. On your starboard side, you've got your helm station. So this boat is equipped with Raymarine 16 inch single screen. Um, you can option up for the offshore navigation package, which will be a dual screen system with radar and um, some other nice features that you can get included. Most of our clients are, depending since this is more of a day boat, they tend to lean more towards the coastal navigation package, with, which is your basic systems. Your 16 inch, excuse me, 16 inch Raymarine screen, your VHF. Um, and so, and additionally on this boat, the owner, as I look around, has equipped this boat with a premium sound system. So you're gonna notice that we've got aft speakers, we've got mid speakers, and then we've got bow speakers. And this is all zone controlled through your fusion stereo head unit, which is really nice because if you, if you are sitting at the aft of the boat, you don't necessarily need your speakers playing in the front, so you can change your zone controls. You can obviously change all your bass and treble and so forth and your balance, so, um, which is pretty standard. Um, with the 300 engine outboard horsepower upgrade, comes a joystick piloting. And so for any of you that are familiar with the joystick, or if you're not, our control for the joystick is, is located just on the outside of our starboard next to your helm station. So very easy to control, makes getting away from the dock simple. Um, 
Just below that, we've got our throttle control, which you can sync up or you can operate independently. So if you're more of a traditionalist and you, and you don't necessarily need the joystick control because of the stance of these engines and generally with any catamaran, your engines are far apart. So you can use your throttle controls and just reverse and forward independently and you can spin the boat on a dime. So really nice feature with any catamaran and I highly suggest you jump on board and try and then you can try with the joystick once you're comfortable with joystick control. It's a great feature to have on board. Below that, we've got our amp system. Um, we have a small glove box in here with some USB chargers and a 12 volt charger. So if you've got your phone, you can simply plug it in, tuck it away, um, connect through Bluetooth through your fusion head unit. Below me here, we've got additional storage, big storage. What, and that's something you're really gonna notice on all of the Aquilas. There is ample storage throughout this boat. Anywhere we've been able to find storage, just as where the life jackets were, or we've got the cooler in the aft cockpit, or we've got additional full length locker here for your cleaning materials and supplies. Aquila has thought of that. The de designers have really spent a lot of time thinking about storage because you can never have enough storage on board a boat. So very important aspect to look at when you're on board. Um, as I stated, this boat comes with air conditioning if you option in. We have a cabin to port and then we have a wet head to our starboard side. As I enter into the cabin on the port side, you're going to find additional USB and 12 volt chargers located just below the seat. This is a convertible rear or forward facing seat with a bolster. So you can lower your bolster, sit back, kick your feet up while the captain's driving and you can have a great conversation. If you don't want to kick your feet up, there's also a nice little footrest that you can pull out and put your feet on. So, or if you want to do a half seating position, put your bolster up, put your foot step up, and then you can stand here and just kind of enjoy, get a nice view all around. Or if you've got the table extended out and you're having lunch or dinner or just a sundowner on board, you can extend this table, reverse this, and then you've got additional seating here. Or if you want to face aft and watch kids play or adults play, you can sit here and, and just hang out. This is actually a really, really comfortable seat, whether you're sitting in this position or lying completely flat. A great area just to sleep and take a nap, which some of us like to do on the weekend, so on our Sunday fun days. Now we're in the port side cabin, and one of the great features that you're gonna see is you've got a nice, nice bed. So plenty big enough for the kids, or if you're a couple and you're just taking a nice overnighter, plenty of room in here for you to lay down and enjoy the evening out on anchor, um, or at a different marina if you're traveling down to the Keys or Great Lakes or wherever you're going and just spend a night away on board the boat. So really nice feature. Uh, again, what you're gonna see and all the thought and detail that's gone into the boat, you've got a fan, um, you've got reading lights, you've got additional USB ports, um, you've got your 110 volts. So to plug into, you've got um, your air conditioning, obviously, which is right now feels great. So a little hot here down in Florida. And uh, the boat is controlled, you've got your main panel switch panel here we've got a small C zone control system or digital LCD so you can control all of the boat functions from your C zone control so if you're stepping on board or you're stepping off board you simply select docked away and right now we've got this program that it's going to give you two minutes to get off board so you've got plenty of time to lock down the boat step off board and then all, all of your lights, all of your systems, except your bilge systems, are going to shut down. So a very simple, convenient way to manage your boat systems. So as I step above deck, we'll move over to the head. As you can see, I'm 5'9", and there's plenty of headroom for me to stand up straight in here. Um, so plenty of room. Uh, I can stretch my arms out completely all the way. So plenty of room both fore and aft as well as sideways. So in here, you've got a wand shower. So simply remove. You can take your shower, you can close the door behind you, you have privacy. You also have nice window vanity, as well as port porthole. 
um, to look out. You have an independent fan also that you can run and you have a deck hatch. So plenty of ventilation that you can get through here even if you're not using your air conditioning. Um, if you are using your air conditioning, you have a nice single vent down here, keeps it nice and cool or warm. Um, but yeah, so you've got a sump pump in the, in the bottom. So if you are taking a shower, drains directly overboard through your gray water discharge. Also to the aft, you have complete access to your uh, electronics that are located in the navigation station. But just to give you an idea, as I move down here, one of the big challenges that you have on boats is your space and access to the electronics. And just to give you an idea, again, the Kilo has really made this simple for everyone and it's really a great feature, is you can literally climb in here and have plenty of room to access your inverters, your, your cables, your access to your navigation equipment. So lots of room in here, um, plenty of room to work. Everything is very nice, labeled, tucked away, zip tied, um, so very well organized and laid out. As we move towards the bow, and one thing you'll notice aboard all of the Aquilas, and again on the Aquila 32 Sport, is a great use of stainless steel handhelds throughout the boat. It's very important that you, while you're on board, whether you're at, on anchor or at the marina, or under motion is that you always have one hand for you, whether it's a drink or food, and one hand on the boat at all times. This is just a safety feature. It's been drilled into me as a young kid and something I pass on um, to many of our clients within the Aquila range and something the designers really take into account on board. So where, whenever you're walking, you're gonna see great attention to detail with your handheld. So very, very good use of uh, handhelds within the Aquila 32. Also within the hard top on this version, the owner has gone with the standard manual opening hatches. So to my port and to my starboard side, you're gonna see two manual op overhead opening hatches. As we're moving towards the bow, where you'll look, notice on the port side, we've got our summer kitchen. Again, it's located underneath the hard top, so you're able to use this area rain or shine. Great place to prep your lunch, dinner, or breakfast aboard for the family or yourself or your loved one. As you'll see, when we open this up, you're gonna see atten attention to detail. Aquila's really thought about a lot of things when they go into the design of all the Aquila's, and especially on the Aquila 32. As we open this up, what you're gonna notice is a nice little hole right here, and you'll see another piece of Corian right here. So you can place this over your Corian, stays in place, doesn't slide around, so if you're using it under motion, or while you're at anchor, it's a great place, you can use it as a cutting board also. You have your faucet, nice size sink, variable temperature, hot or cold. As you open this up, you're gonna find nice little grill area, which is able to be secured. And you've got a nice little reflector plate on top of it so that you can close it when it's still warm. So it stays very nice still. Great place to cook burgers. Um, probably the best thing aboard the boat um, when it comes to cooking. So a really great feature. On board the boat, everything again tucks away nice and clean, secure. And that's your summer kitchen on your, on your countertop. Below that, you're gonna have your fridge and freezer. So your nice isotherm. So you got a little frid, uh, refrigerator console on the bottom and then you've got a, a small freezer section on the top. To your right of that, you're gonna have your trash can. I don't have the trash can in here right now, but this is where your trash can would go. So you have a nice little tilt out area, lockable, your controls for your Kenyan cooktop, um, which is fantastic. So you can really do everything you need to right here, whether you're uh, boiling water or, or cooking up burgers or fish, really great little summer kitchen area and while you serve uh, your guests on board. As we move forward into the bow, where you're gonna see we've got a nice gate that locks in place. <clears throat> and we also have our window that locks in place. So if you're traveling at speed under the boat and you don't want all the, the wind blowing through you, you're able to secure this, close it off, and shear that wind above you. So it keeps it a little bit, a little bit less windy inside your cockpit. But if it's hot, most people are gonna leave it open, have the gate open, people can come and go from foreduck bow area into your cockpit area. Also, what you'll notice in front of the nav station on your starboard side, you've got nice windshield wipers. So if you are sitting down and you're just tucking in, you're getting some spray from a wake or 
maybe you're getting a bit of raindrops and you need to see through, you, there is a windshield wiper on here. Um, but most of the time, hopefully, it's not raining when you're out, out on board your boat. So as we move into the bow area, what you're gonna see is a nice small little step up. Take a step up, and the way the owner has got this boat configured, they've got their insert, which turns the entire bow into one big, large sunbed area from your port side all the way to your starboard side. So if you have a number of guests and they're wanting to lie out or lots of kids on board and they all want to sit up front and have their own special social zone for kids, you simply turn this into a large sunbed area and they've got their own area. Um, as you will see, you've got armrests <clears throat> on both sides. So you can sit one person to your starboard and two people to your port. So you have, uh, again, with the multi-zone sound system, you've got dual speakers up here in the bow. You've got ample cup holders, so you've got lots of room. Feet, you can lay this way, you can turn your armrests up, and you can lay completely lengthwise and take a nap in the sun. Um, also additional, as an option on board in your bow, there's a manual sunshade system. So you simply put your uh, holder, your rods in, and then you have a convertible sunshade. In the bow area, we've got uh, lockers to port and starboard. They simply mimic each other. In here, we've got our windlass and we've got our hand control for our windlass tucked in. So you can simply pull it out um, and operate it. Very simple to use. On this, on this size Aquila or catamaran, since she's 32 foot, you don't need to use a bridle system. So typically on the larger catamarans, you, you use, utilize a bridle system when you're at anchor. Not needed on a small Aquila. Um, she's not gonna rotate that much while she's on the pick. So very, very simple for anyone to use. Again, this is a mimic of what's on your port side, but you've got fenders and it's very deep. Um, so we'll take a peek in there with the camera and you can see uh, in more detail how deep that is. So, but tons of storage again, lots and lots of storage. So as we're on the bow, what I've done now is remove the filler cushion for your bow section. So as you'll see, you've got a nice walkway now, all the way open, open to the bow for easy access all the way aft to the cockpit. So again, plenty of seating area for everyone. Pull your armrest down. You've got a nice secure area. You've got a great handheld here. Close to the speaker, you got a cup, cup holder right here. So life doesn't get much better than that. So get everything at your fingertips right here in the bow. Perfect size, um, great, comfy, feel nice and secure up here. And when you're riding at speed, at cruising speed or whatever speed you choose, absolutely perfect place to sit up here and enjoy the water. Underneath on our starboard side, we've got additional storage. So we simply pull the cushion out and we lift up the hatch. And in there, there is a lot of extra storage. And I'll just move that and you can take a peek down there, but tons of storage underneath there. On our port side, we don't have that access because we have our cabin on our port side. On our starboard side, we've got our head, which occupies basically up to here. And then this area is set up for storage. So lots of extra, extra area to throw different items that you want for storage. And that's your, that's your bow. So as you look back at the boat, you can see that we have a very nice hard top, nice opening windshield, um, great layout to this boat, great feel. She's nice and open, generous social zones. So entertaining, or if you're simply going out, you and your partner, or even as yourself, um, just fantastic boat all around. Very versatile, so primarily built for day boating, but if you wanted to use and get away overnight, for one night, two nights, and it's just you and your special loved one or you and your small kids. It's really a perfect boat, in my opinion, for, for all around versatility, going up to the sandbar, going out to the restaurants. Really a great little boat. And, um, I really enjoy the 32. I've been fortunate enough to be out on her a number of times now, and just um, I'm really excited for these owners. Um, they, they have young, three young daughters and um, great young family, and I think that's really, really, a, a great opportunity for this family and what Aquila is, is hoping to do with a, this model is really bring young families, may not be first time uh, boat buyers, but maybe their second boat and they're 
having questions about, well, do we want a catamaran or not? And they're stepping up into, into a great size 32 foot catamaran that operates very simply um, and great introduction into our, into our future catamaran models. So, um, so I'm Elaine Ross and I appreciate you spending some time with me on board the all new Aquila 32 Sport. Fantastic all around versatile day boat or overnighter um, as you wish. So she really is a special boat. Look forward to seeing these new owners on their boat with their young family and uh, hopefully seeing you on the water soon. If you have any questions about the Aquila 32 Sport, contact your nearest sales consultant at your nearest Marine Max store. Look forward to seeing you on the water soon.